uh, just stopped by and filled out a postcard sent to my elected official. Make sure they support our schools and support fair funding for our kids. Uh, at this time, I'd ask, uh, please, I know, I know some of you are tired and want to sit down, but we have a couple of scholars coming up to perform, and I want them to know that we're here to support them. So if you could come up to the front and uh, show our scholars some support. So we are almost through with our program for the day. But before we finish, we have two amazing student performances. Yes. So first up are four young scientists from Girls Prep Bronx. They pro Please give them a huge hand. Round of applause. What is motion? One might ask. It is all around us. We see it in our everyday lives. In fact, many of us are representing motion as I speak. Yet, can we define it? If I were to ask you, yeah, you, what is motion? Could you give me an answer? No, right? Yeah. Defining motion is not a problem that is new to the field of science or to the field of physics. See, the definition of motion has developed over time. From Aristotle, this really old philosopher, to Galileo, this guy that explained the sun is in the center of our solar system. To Sir Isaac Newton, this guy that constructed these really interesting laws about motion. The idea theory behind motion has changed and developed over time. Motion is the change of position of an object. In our Girls Prep Bronx Middle School Science class, we set out to determine how motion connects to objects in our everyday world. We wanted to make a connection between how an air trolley demonstrates motion. So, we made our very own air trolley, which looks like this. And we did the following. There are so many forces applied to the air trolley's propeller upon release. Some of the forces are kinetic energy and the force such as a push, friction, and inertia. Friction is found in the movement of the air trolley when it is in motion on the string because the paper clips on each end rub against the string, which eventually makes it come to a rest. Inertia is found when the air trolley is in motion on the propeller because it keeps the air trolley at a constant velocity. In this experiment, we then tested our air trolley on a thicker twine string. We measured the distance our air trolley traveled and compared how the type of string will affect the amount of motion of our trolleys. No motion. As you can see, the air trolley did not travel as far on the twine string. This is due to friction. Friction is a force that stops the movement of an object. And a thick string like the twine will have more friction than a thin fishing line. In conclusion, the purpose of this lab was to show how an air trolley demonstrates motion in addition to the forces that are involved. Thank you. Like I talk fast. Like, I was like, Thank. Have another hand. 